గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ మల్లారెడ్డి గారు మాట్లాడిన తర్వాత నేను మాట్లాడాలంటే కొద్దిగా ప్రాబ్లమే ఎందుకంటే ఎట్లుంటుందంటే మల్లారెడ్డి గారు మాట్లాడిన తర్వాత ఇంకెవరు మాట్లాడాలంటే కూడా తెలంగాణ భాషలో చెప్పాలంటే యాటకూర తిన్న తర్వాత తోటకూర తిన్నట్టుంటుంది లేదు కొద్దిగా స్టైలిష్గా చెప్పాలి అంటే ఒక సూర్యకుమార్ యాదవ్ బ్యాటింగ్ చేసిన తర్వాత ఈ మధ్యన స్లో బ్యాటింగ్ ఎవరు చేస్తున్నారో నాకు తెలియదు వాళ్ళు చేసినట్టుంటుంది మల్లారెడ్డి గారు మీతో మేము మ్యాచ్ కాలేము మీరు సోషల్ మీడియా స్టార్ మీరు మిమ్మల్ని మ్యాచ్ అయ్యే కెపాసిటీస్ మాకు లేవు బట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ ఫర్ యునో స్టేయింగ్ స్టేయింగ్ ఇన్ ఈవెన్ దో వీఆర్ లేట్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ డిలైటెడ్ టు బీ హియర్ ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఐ వాజ్ ఇన్ ద డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ ఐ టు రన్ అరౌండ్ బెట్ బట్ ఎంఎస్ మేడ్ ష్యూర్ దట్ ఐ కేమ్ అండ్ అటెండెడ్ దిస్ ఈవెంట్ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ ఎంఎస్ for chasing me for following up for making sure i'm here um to the entire team of tea hub and to all the innovators to everybody who's gathered here a very good evening very pleased to be here at the tea innovation summit 2023 24 you can see a lot of uh, familiar faces a lot of people that uh, you know i keep running into at various events thank you very much for attending this event and for making this very very special of course uh, I've been following it online I've been uh, looking at uh, some of the streams special shout out you know at this summit to Luis Liki to Anil Seth Sir Marcus Du Soto for presenting their great ideas connecting the past present and future I think uh, they deserve a huge round of applause from all of us Thank you so much uh, Luis Anil and Sir Marcus for joining us uh, at this event This networking Confluence themed the gladiators of mind brings together three of the most extraordinary names in science from across the world on one stage for an electrifying evening of ideas and innovation i understand that the theme today covers the past present and the future of course as we all know evolution is the ultimate form of innovation ultimate act of innovation that plays out across millennia generative artificial intelligence generative ai is now the talk of the town in today's world where there are limitless possibilities to human innovation through the support of ai today innovation in the field of math science and arts underpins all creativity and has the power to shape human destiny a friend of mine once told me that there are two forms of two kinds of people in the world artists and scientists but i do believe sincerely when i say this i do believe that the lines are now marring i don't think you can define a human either as an artist or a scientist anymore i think you are a mishmash you're essentially an amalgamation of the best of both especially after ai has come into our lives and the kind of revolutionary changes that we get to see every day in our day to day lives i think it is now a myth today i'm i have to take my mind 10 years back you know because as we stand celebrating telangana entering the 10th year after the formation of state after attaining statehood you know my mind does dart back to that uh, date and time when we actually went out i remember mohan reddy garu and all of us i assumed office as a minister of information technology on the 2nd of june 2014 right on the day the state was formed very next day in fact i think it was the 3rd of june 2014 we all ended up at triple it hyderabad and indian school of business hyderabad we brainstormed we sat together we ideated we started asking questions we said how can we make hyderabad a much better place how can we make sure hyderabad's ecosystem becomes one of the best in india to spur innovation to encourage young innovators 10 years ago we had realized that innovation is a combination it doesn't work in isolation it's a combination where great innovation you know never ever occurs in a single field of expertise but it is a synthesis across domains i keep saying this wherever i go you know promoting hyderabad promoting the state of telangana i keep saying telangana is where the north of india meets the south of india telangana is where biology meets technology telangana is where life sciences meets data sciences where paratha meets dosa where mangoverse meets metaverse 
but I think this applies to innovation as well. In today's world, technology per se doesn't work in isolation, innovation doesn't work in one sphere of technology. It cuts through various disciplines, it works, it has to, if you have to innovate, it has to be synthesized, cutting across different specters of life, different sectors of life, and ensure that you carry forward all stakeholders, irrespective of you know, where they come from, investors, policy makers, corporates, mentors, academicians, and most importantly, entrepreneurs under one roof. As I've always maintained, as I've always said in the past, we are a startup state, and I take great pride in having built India's leading innovation network over the last 10 years, with all of your support and blessing. <laughs> Hyderabad, today, Hyderabad today is a testimony in itself about the power of innovation and entrepreneurship. Gives me great pride when, you know, I have, uh, I see the kind of compliments and I see the kind of comments. Some, of course, once in a while you get trolled, that's all right. You know, it's part of life, right? But when I start reading the comments in LinkedIn or Insta or Twitter, I think as I've said um, in one of my television interviews recently, unfortunately I've become one of those guys who has, who has to spend about three to four hours uh, every day in social media. So I do hear, I do listen, I do look up what people have to say, what kind of feedback people have to give. I latch on to good ideas. I ignore, uh, you know, those who troll unnecessarily, who don't offer uh, constructive inputs or constructive criticism. Of course, those who are offensive, I immediately block them. That's a different story. That's another story for another day. The point I'm trying to make is, point I'm trying to make is, governments, stakeholders, policy makers, we have to be attentive. We have to be listening, we have to be hearing to all kinds of possibilities that can emanate from ideas that can come from anywhere in the world. That's exactly what we've done over the last nine years. We worked closely with the industry, we worked closely with academicians, we worked closely with innovators across the globe. Whenever we travel to the US, to UK, to other parts of the world, we have made it a point to ensure the T-Hub, V-Hub, CSIC, Rich, T-Works, the entire spectrum of Telangana innovation ecosystem is also represented, is also given an opportunity to ensure that we continue to create more and more opportunities for our youngsters and our young innovators in Telangana and in India. And I also sincerely believe when I say this, we have just made a beginning. What we have done in the last nine years, we have barely scratched the surface. I think the potential of T-Hub the potential of the innovation ecosystem in Hyderabad. You know, you will start seeing the results. You will start seeing the astounding performances that are, you know, uh, you know, that are lined up, in my humble opinion, in days to come. It's not always about unicorns. It's not always about the billion dollar valuations. It's also about the impact one can create on the ecosystem. If you look at Hyderabad's youngsters today, Hyderabad's innovation ecosystem today, some of them have really made their presence felt. I don't want to name one single name and disappoint others, so I'd refrain from that. But I can tell you there are a number of brilliant stories, you know, which have come out of nowhere, literally, and have become literally the poster childs and poster stories, um, you know, of how well one can do if one applies um, to innovation. Like I said, this is just the beginning. We promise to touch every heart and soul who has an ounce of entrepreneurial zeal within them. We have a lot more to be done, like I said, and the only way to achieve it is, I can't say this enough, by collaborations. We have to work together, we have to collaborate, we have to ensure that there is no duplication of effort. This year, on the Foundation Day of Telangana, we have announced the astounding results of what we've been able to achieve in the technology sector. Let me reiterate, let me share it happily again. Telangana has surpassed all expectations with remarkable exports and the creation of a significant number of new IT jobs. Just to put things in perspective, back in 2014, our IT exports were 56,000 crores from Telangana. This year, in May, they have risen from 56,000 crore to 241,000 crores. Quadruple. In terms of in terms of year-on-year -year growth, that's about 31.44%, 31.44%. And let me also add, 
India's national average compared to the 31.44% has been 9.36%. So that goes to tell you, that goes to show you how Telangana has had an explosive growth. Let me also add, not only in terms of exports, but even in terms of job creation, I'm, 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 I, can, I say this with a lot of pride. When Mallaradi Garu said we surpassed Bangalore, he wasn't exaggerating. The last two years, Telangana and Hyderabad have been leading from the front, leading the charge from the front when it comes to job creation. Last year, according to NASCOM, out of the total technology jobs created in India last year, 33% came from Hyderabad. Out of the 450,000 new jobs, 150,000 were created in Hyderabad, 146,000 were created in Bangalore. And this year, the story gets even better. Out of the total jobs created in India, according to NASCOM, 44%, a staggering 44% are from our beautiful city, Hyderabad. It's literally, it's literally one in two jobs created in India coming from Telangana. Like I said, we have barely scratched the surface. This story is just unfolding. I am a super confident citizen of Telangana who believes that this city of Hyderabad, the state of Telangana, is poised and is ideally kind of positioned itself for a rapid growth in years to come. And the fundamental reason that I attribute this to is stable governance and able leadership. Under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, we have had an all-round balanced growth. Today, not only in IT exports do we see this phenomenal stellar growth, we also see equally impressive growth in agriculture exports and agriculture production. That's the balanced, well-rounded, holistic, integrated and inclusive model that I keep talking about. If you look at Telangana as a state, our population is the size of Malaysia, our geography is the size of South Korea and the kind of results we've been having compared to the rest of India is nothing short of astounding. Just to put things in perspective, we are less than 2.5% of India in terms of population but we contribute to 5% of India's GDP. We are, we are, I keep saying this, the most successful startup of independent India, startup state of independent India. The reason why I say this is because the kind of growth we've had. Our GSDP, the gross state domestic product, in 2014 was 5,5,000 crore. And as of this year, March 31st, it is 13.27 lakh crores. Our per capita income, in 2014 was 1,12,000 rupees. As of March 31st this year, it's the highest in India, 3,17,000 rupees. Not only does this point you to the growing affluence, growing you know, uh, riches in the state of Telangana, but it also shows you that a state can achieve a lot with stable governance and able leadership. The last thing I'll tell you, not only have we grown in the technology sector in the urban areas, we are now decentralizing. We are moving to tier two towns. I thank Mohan Reddy Garu and Tech Mahindra and a number of other companies, Genpack, Mindtree, Quadrant, Softpath and a number of others who have set up shop in Warangal. Recently, Sonata Software has announced that they will be setting up a center in Nalgonda. Also in Karimnagar, we are having 3M, which is one of the world's leading healthcare companies. They are setting up a center in Karimnagar. So, I do believe that the story has just begun. We have barely scratched the surface. In terms of innovation, I do believe that there is a lot more to be done, but that can only happen by way of collaborations. I would like to conclude by thanking each and one of, each and each one of you for being part of this domino effect. You are part of writing a new chapter in the history of startup innovation. Thank you. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.